In 2002, when we first went down to intervene against the uh, illegal operations of the Japanese whaling fleet, nobody in the world even knew what they were doing. Even the people of Japan had no idea what was going on down there. This is a nonviolent movement, but unfortunately, uh, as every nonviolent movement in history has shown, that uh, that is usually one-sided, that the nonviolent side usually gets attacked violently, that harpoons fired uh, over us, uh, our ships have been rammed, we've been shot at, we've been uh, attacked by mobs, we've been beaten. Steve Irwin, Bob Barker, we're taking water in the end. For 12 years, Sea Shepherd has been intervening against the illegal operations of the Japanese whaling fleet in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. And for 12 years, the Japanese have been calling us outlaws and pirates and eco-terrorists for trying to stop them from killing whales. What the International Court of Justice in The Hague has uh, ruled is that it is the Japanese fleet that is illegal. And so the tables have been completely turned. I don't think that the, the Japanese whaling industry or the Japanese government's ever understood how Sea Shepherd is structured. They thought that they could stop us by putting a lawsuit against Sea Shepherd USA, forgetful that there's dozens of other countries that are involved in this movement. They also thought that they could uh, stop Sea Shepherd by removing me and then for putting me on the Interpol red list and preventing me from traveling. They thought that that would end up. Ultimately, uh, there are all their efforts against us in the courts will fail because they, they simply cannot stop a movement.